Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So today we retest another strategy I posted on the channel a few years ago. We will see if the strategy holds up with new data, if it's actually a good strategy you can use for your trading or not. Okay, let's go. So the back test you see here on the screen is actually from this RSI coding tutorial I posted on my channel two years ago. So the first part of this coding series was called Coding a Simple RSI EA. The second one here is this amazing RSI trading bot. I will link both of these videos up here. You can go watch them, code this on your own if you want. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. But in today's video, we want to check out if the spec test here, if the strategy um, also performs with new data so we can do a real out of sample test. Okay, so let's switch to the MetaTrader 5 platform, open up the strategy tester and we select the EA here, RSI MA filter EA. And by the way, all the code files, you can code this of course here from YouTube. Everything is step-by-step -step tutorial, but if you want to get all the code files from my YouTube tutorials, um, you can check out my website if you don't want to put in the time or effort. Okay, but let's select the RSI MA filter EA here for this test. Now for the symbol, this was on US dollar Japanese yen. So I will just use the default broker symbol for this test. In the original video, um, I used a custom symbol, but for this test, let's just use the default broker symbol. I'm here with Darwin X, the demo account. Okay, now for the settings, um, let's actually take a look at the video. So we get the right settings. Here, maybe I will put this on my second screen. So we use the five minute period here and the time frame is from 2012 um, here. And of course now we use today. So up to the, to the most recent date and zero latency, open price only mode and everything else is fine. Now for the inputs, let's take a look at the inputs. So the first back test we did in the original video had a RSI period of 25, RSI level of 70, MA period also 25, and the MA time frame one hour. Stop loss in points was zero, no stop loss. Um, and take profit in points 100. And we close the trades by a opposite signal is set to true. So these are the settings for the 100% winning uh, back test. Now, before I run this test, I want to say I'm pretty sure this EA will not perform with new data. At least we won't get like 100% winning trades. We will have a, a few big losing trades. Um, but I also, yeah, mentioned this in the original video that I don't believe the strategy will perform like this in the future. But let's just um, have a look here. If I run this test and we go to the graph, we can see the great performance in the beginning. Um, so. I published the video yeah, beginning of 2023. So we actually had a nice performance for maybe a year with no losing trades. And then here a few big losing trades. And that's, that's just the nature of the strategy. We have no stop loss. So this parameter set was just lucky and basically optimized to have no losing trade. And as soon as we test this with new data, out of sample test, basically it it falls apart. So I also said I would not trade this on a live account, but in the original video, there was also a second back test we did. Um, so let's take a look at this parameter set. Um, this was the first one here. And the second one was this back test. Let's see what happens if we test these parameters. Let me put this on the second screen. Oh, it's a mess. 
Uh. Okay, so for the second backtest, we have a RSI period of 15. 70 for the level, it's the same. Moving average period of 10. One hour time frame, stop loss in points, 150. Take profit is 400. And this is set to true. So these are the parameters for the second backtest we did in the original video at the end. And I told, and I also said in the video that this strategy is more likely to perform in the future. So let's see if this actually performs with new data. So this here is the start and we can see. So I posted the video, the start of 2023, which is around here. Yeah, somewhere here. And we can see the last part here to the right is basically real out of sample data with the same settings. And yeah, I would say it's a pretty good um, performance. You don't see a structural difference in the equity. If you could not tell basically where we ended the optimization and where we start the out of sample test. So that's always a good sign. And the performance is pretty good, even better than the back test. Um, as I said, it's a little bit different because I'm using the broker data here and not my custom symbol. And very important before I end this video here, you have to check your data before you start your backtesting. So for example, here, this is the broker symbol. This is 2012 here. So the beginning of the backtest and we can see big spikes around midnight. And some of these trades here, they reach take profit with these spikes. So it's pretty dangerous to have yet to just test on the broker symbol without checking your trades or the da data quality. So that's why I like to use my own custom symbols with other data sources, maybe from Dukascopy or also take the data from DownX. But I talk about this in my um, strategy development course. But for this video, just make sure to check your data. We can trust uh, at least the second half of the spec test because the data quality here in the end of the broker symbol is pretty good. We don't have these spikes around midnight. So at least this performance is legit. And the strategy is pretty, pretty good and performed well with out of sample data. So I might look into this for my own trading. It's a very simple EA. Uh, you can code this, as I said, with the coding tutorials here on YouTube for free. You can also get the code on my website. Okay, so that's all for this video. Pretty cool strategy uh, you can use for your own trading. And yeah, I wish you great trades, have a great week, and I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye-bye.